I'll take bachelor number one. Bachelor number one. Cheryl Bradshaw has just picked Rodney Alcala as her date on the dating game. She has no idea that she has selected a serial killer and that she may be his potential next victim. Cheryl's instincts tell her that something isn't right with Rodney Alcala after meeting him face to face. Can I speak to you privately for a moment? There's no way I'm going out with that guy. Something about him gives me the creeps. She was smart enough not to ever go on the date with him because, in her words, he creeped her out. Rejected, Rodney goes back on the prowl. In February 1979, Alcala picks up 15-year-old hitchhiker Monique Hoyt. After spending the night at Rodney's house, they take a trip the next day. He took her up into the mountains under the ruse, which he used more than once, of taking photographs because he was an amateur photographer. Very nice. <laughs> How about a few silly ones now? Okay. Pull your shirt up over your face. Excellent. Ah! Alcala proceeds to rape the unconscious Monique Hoyt. When she awakens, she finds herself bound and Rodney sobbing. And he started to cry, which is the only evidence we have that Rodney Alcala ever had any emotion ever. The streetwise Monique thinks fast in an attempt to survive. Rodney, are you okay? <laughs> you know, I had a lot of fun at your place last night. Could I, could I stay there again? I think it'd be really nice if we could hang out there. <laughs> Yeah, it would be. And that is the one person that managed to talk Rodney Alcala out of, of murdering him. 